right, this is Friday afternoon. I'm heading up into uh, what used to be Tent City again. And uh, this is the day after the enforcement happened. I talked to one of the, the uh, homeless elders who's been here for many years, and he said that uh, the private property, the last stand that uh, was going to be held by the homeless people was actually given up this morning peacefully. Um, there were only three or four people who resisted, and there were no arrests or anything, so it looks like uh, it's pretty much over out here. It doesn't mean, uh, it doesn't mean it's over in terms of getting a legal place for the homeless to live, not only here in Sacramento, but all around the nation. We're still going to hey, keep... Man. Hey, man! We're still going to be working on that, so... Um, there's going to be a march on the Capitol, state, on the state Capitol, on the 21st, and uh, lots and lots of people are going to lobby for some kind of legal place for people. So this is not over by any means. Yeah, they've been over there harassing them already. So okay, you know I got the older people with me. They even went to the hospital. Oh boy. So I still got done. Jeez. Now what I was trying to do is wake these cats out, and I got my little personal stuff. Yeah. And we're gonna go dig in the park. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. We'll wait it out to first. Okay. Where's Sister Libby? What what did they, what did what happened with Sister? No, they they, they weren't gonna take them. They gave us they, they called themselves Sister Libby and said they weren't going to work until they went to jail. So they told them, okay, well we give them 72 hours. Right. Okay. But they showed up this morning. Uh huh. And see, it wasn't supposed to be like that. It said 72 hours yesterday. I was just to get them to leave. Oh, I see. Yeah, but, and then this morning they showed back up. All right. And, uh, you know, basically, but now he let us keep what we needed. He didn't push no issues, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The little sergeant, he was really cool. Yeah. He kept the rest of them guys in order. All right. Because they were pushing, like, hey, hey, load this, load this, load yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Right. Because, you know, I got to you know, be done by myself. Right. Um, with me, the situation I'm at now is. Just getting my personal things to the park. Yep. For the tents, with um, I'm, I downsized everything. Yeah. To just bare necessities. The public don't know. They know what the media is telling them. Exactly. The media don't tell them what they want. Exactly. Them. They're not telling them the truth. They're not telling them that we was told to move down here. It was going to be safe around in two days. The next day, we're told we got to move from here. Exactly. You know, so. Yeah. They don't know that. You know, they just know what they say they're doing, and they're not yeah. doing it. What kind? So, girl, what happened here? Nobody stayed. No. They, they came out when they started showing up this morning. Came out, made a phone call, and left. Oh, yeah, sang a song. So you're talking about uh, Mr. Libby, Garen, all of them. All right. This one guy said there's supposed to be some land in the next day or two. Okay. All right. Okay. Well. I so, thought they were stronger than that. Well. So maybe, you know, maybe there's some other plans or something, do you think, maybe? Maybe they're... Uh... I'm going to give them that motel vouchers tonight. All right. Well, you know what? Maybe they've got some other plans, Carol. So let's, uh, let's keep, let's, let's, uh, I mean, it's, it's certainly sad. I mean, I'm sad, too. And it's, it's very, very disturbing. And at the same time, maybe, maybe what's happened here, maybe there's some information we don't have where the city and the county... There might be doing something, so let's 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 hang in there. So what I want to do is I want to help get you to wherever you need to go. Uh, so what do we need? What I'm do we need? Going to the Delaney Center. Okay. So is this the, the, that the stuff we're that, taking? Yeah, that's mine. All right. Is there anything else here that you want or, or need? Nothing else. I can. Yeah, I got enough time to take. Well, but I can I can stick around if you want. You tell no, me. No, that's all right, baby. All right. I'm just too upset right now. I'm sick. I've got yeah. a cold. Yeah. I can't hardly breathe. And... All right. Well, let's go ahead and get your stuff okay. then. All right. Okay. Okay. No problem. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're not covering much at all. They're just covering what, oh. like, like the negative of it. Yeah. Well, keep your hand over your face if you don't want to be on the video. But yeah. if you want to talk to me, tell me what's your experience of, be, of this whole on thing. The sidewalks over near the recycling <coughs> area. There's more tickets for camping and yep. things like that. Yeah. So are you holding it together? Or are you kind yeah, of? I, I live. I live out the way, but they came out there and told us we had to leave yesterday too. Yeah. Southern's Landing. The okay. place they were taking no, people. It's, it's, it's the old orchard. Yeah, I know. I took a couple people out there myself. Yeah, um, probably five or six. Until this, we all had to move. All right, the Rangers were the. It was the Rangers. The 
Yeah, all right. But they're, they're, they're not out here like this. I mean, yeah. yeah, they're not supposed to have that jurisdiction out there, though. Well, you know what I'm going to be doing? Listen, you know what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be going around to all the places where people are hanging out on the street corners and stuff like that. I'm going to video the whole thing. I'm going to put it all together, and we're going to do a count. We're going to say, look here. We've got hundreds of people who are out on the street now, and here's where they are. They have so not been taken, part, not they have not been cared for, they have not been considered. So I'm going to get all that and we're going to get it, we're going to get it posted. Okay. All right. Show them the parts that the, the news doesn't show them. Um, that's what we're doing. So apparently the stand that uh, was going to be taken fell apart. I'm not sure why, but I have a feeling that there might be some other, some other strategy that's being embraced here that... Uh, still might be able to produce a positive solution here. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be pessimistic about this. It's certainly not, not encouraging, but that doesn't mean that uh, something good isn't going to happen here. So we'll just stay with the process here and, and see what we get. And get Carol moved over to Delaney Center in the meantime. Then I'll go back and get that other lady and get her down further on the American River Parkway where she wants to go. Here at Delaney Center, I'm going to drop off Carol's belongings. They've got storage I hear for for people, which is a good thing. At least it's better than nothing. Can I back in? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know your name. Hi, VJ. Russ. Hi, Russ. Volunteers from America. Yeah, good. Nice to see you, man. We've got a container coming out here. It's not here yet. So All right. We've got kind of small tiles. Okay. This stuff is a different group. This is yeah. This is my stuff here. Oh, I've, I've been stuff. living out there. So, oh, okay. But I'm taking this over to I'm taking it to a friend's house. Okay. Yeah. So we're good to go. Yeah. I got a couple more people on. I, hey, what all the stuff? What we need? Not much. Really? Yeah. There's one lady out there still that she don't want to come what here. Today? Gone. Everything's gone. Everything. Motorhome Dave's gone. Every everything's gone. So, but there's a lady still hanging out there. She wants to go down like 30 or you know down the river further. Okay. So I got a few more ladies out there that are back in the bushes and stuff, and they, they don't want to come over here, so they want to go further down on the parkway. And I'm trying to tell them not to do that. Eventually, they're going to find them. They're going to find them. Yeah. The Rangers are out there giving 24-hour notices to people. So so did they were so 16th and G. Six, 16th and G. They were so upset. I just went ahead and put it on the on our I Care America card and got them a room. I was not willing to have them just stand out in the frickin' you know yeah. s sidewalk there. It, this thing is happening so quick; it doesn't surprise me they got some loose ends. Like this whole thing just rose up in the last day and a half, storing their stuff here. Well, now they, they got this done so quick; I don't even have my container here yet. So, do you think are, is there housing for people or shelter over at Cal Expo still, or what's going? You know, Cal Expo, I think, was about 200 folks last night, so that's about full. So, all right. Uh, all right. After that, I think then that's when the vouchers come out. I know they'd like to give the vouchers to the families as well. What's going to happen know. if we keep having all the homeless come here, and, and we're just going to keep shuttling them to wherever the well, city and county comes up with? Hopefully, huh? Hopefully, and hopefully they'll convert some of these old places into more permanent houses. That would be a good thing. Well, there's, there's a lot of motels yeah. on 16th right now that are empty. If, Absolutely. If they get on it. Like the Sands. The Sands Motel is completely is empty. The there's like there, the old uh, Earl of Yeah, 80 units. There's 80 units in there. So you wonder why the city doesn't jump all over It doesn't that. make any sense not yeah. to be doing that. Know but why. you know what? I think this kind of pressure is going to really help because if they see that people are willing to take the solutions or give them, they're going to have to come up with other solutions. They're calling them on their on their solution response. And, and that was that was the strategy to call them on the solutions and then show that it was not anywhere near the solution that's necessary. Sure, but, and, but you're right. This is the start. This is how it begins. Yep. I'm here at Delaney Center. This is the uh, bus area that goes to Overflow at Cal Expo. Looks like right now we have over a hundred people waiting to get over to the shelter area. There's certainly not enough beds over there for everybody. So hopefully uh, the city and county will recognize that we've got an overflow problem and they'll do something to provide a more permanent solution for people. So stay tuned. I'll bring you more live coverage of what's happening with the homeless population here in Sacramento, California.